Hello, and welcome to your meditation practice as part of the Open Heart Project. I'm very glad you signed up for this, and my name is Susan Piper, and I'm very happy to be your meditation instructor. And today we're going to sit together for 10 minutes, and I will give you full instruction. And we're going to start right away, so please take your seat and begin to get settled. Whether you're on a cushion on the floor or on a chair, both are good. Um, and as you get settled, I invite you to consider the notion of compassion and what it means to be compassionate. I'd like to just offer you a brief definition of what is meant here by compassion because often compassion is thought of as meaning something like you have to be nice to everyone or you have to like everyone or you can't get upset with anyone and you have to think that you know everyone is you know kind of like a nice teddy bear that you could cuddle. No. Um, you can hate other people, you can not forgive them, you can be cranky, you can be angry, you can be fed up, uh, and you can still be compassionate. And there's only two things you need to do. The first one is, no matter how egregious you find the behavior of other people, and you're welcome to find it as egregious as you like, as mentioned, the only problem comes in when you start to think that you are any different than them that they are different than you. And so they're not. We are all human. We all have the ability to do very bad things, very good things, and to be misinterpreted in either case. So please, you are welcome to be very upset with anyone you like, but just pull up short of thinking that they're any different than you. Um, and the second thing uh, that I would like to offer you as a definition for compassion is the willingness to let someone else's pain touch your heart. You don't have to sign off on the reason for their pain. You don't have to agree with the reason for their pain. All you have to do is notice it and feel it. And one of the things that blocks us from doing this is that we don't allow ourselves to feel our own pain. And without the ability to soften toward ourselves, very difficult to soften towards others. So please know that as we practice meditation today, we are very much practicing the gesture of softening towards ourselves by allowing our minds to be exactly as they are, by allowing our moods to be exactly as they are, by letting ourselves be exactly who we are when good things arise, when bitchy things arise, when important things arise, when silly things arise. We allow it all to be there while we do our practice. And rest assured that in this very simple act of allowing yourself to be who you are, you are accomplishing something quite profound, which is planting the seeds of willingness to allow others to be who they are. So I hope this is useful. And without further ado, let's start our practice for today. So, meditation practice consists of three kinds of mindfulness, three things to be mindful of. And the first is your body. And the practice actually begins with the way you take your seat. And the notion is to take your seat with a sense of dignity and a good posture, which doesn't mean a militaristic posture. It just means a posture that says, here I am, I'm in my life, I'm right here, I deserve to be right here, and I have a kind of good pride in myself, an unarrogant pride in myself. If you're on the floor, your legs are crossed loosely in front of you, and if you're in a chair, please sit with your feet flat on the floor and get a sense of earth. Feel your sit bones rooting down into the earth, whatever you happen to be sitting on. And imagine yourself to be rooted to this earth. You belong here. And if it helps, you can imagine that you are planted up to your waist in earth 
and everything below is your root system, and it holds you in place. And up from that, like the trunk and limbs of a tree, blossom your trunk and your limbs with a sense of aspiration. So we are firmly rooted, and yet we aspire upward. The hands are palms down, just above the knee, and the hands and arms and shoulders are simple and relaxed. While the back is straight and strong, the front body is soft and open because it just is. Let the chin be tucked a little bit so the back of the neck is long. And this is to protect the neck from injury. If you sit too much like this or too much like this, you can strain your neck. So we don't want to do that. The mouth is closed. And the lips are slightly parted so the jaw can relax. Breath comes in and out through the nose. And just let your breath be natural. There's no uh, particular way to breathe, no breathing technique, just breathe. In our practice, the eyes remain open because this is a practice of wakefulness. And the gaze is cast down to a spot about six feet in front. And you don't have to stare at it or grip it with your eyes. It's just a kind of a resting spot for your eyes, for your vision. And rather than trying to focus in on that particular spot, Allow your eyes to take in the full spectrum of the visual field without looking around or moving your eyes. Just let everything that you can see come in. This tends to be relaxing for our eyes, which often are reaching out throughout the day. So let them be soft. And the crown of the head reaches up a little bit. And here you are. And this is mindfulness of body. Now please place your attention on your breath as it comes in and out through the nose. And all this means is to notice your breath and let your attention ride in on the in-breath like it was like a feather tickling the crest of a wave. Just come in with that kind of lightness and flow out on the exhale with a similar sense of ease. So let your attention come all the way in on the in-breath and recede all the way out on the out breath. Rest in the little gap that follows the exhale. And then let the next inhale carry you in again. And out again on the exhale. Stay with your breath as best you can. And this is mindfulness of breath.
at some point it could happen that your attention becomes absorbed in thought to the point where you have totally forgotten about your breath. No problem. Please rest assured that there is no need to spend one moment trying to clear the mind of thought, trying to stop thinking. Our mind exists to produce thought and thank you. We're not trying to stop that. We're just trying to cultivate a different relationship to it. So let your mind be as it is. Whatever that means for you, while you hold attention on breath, and if you become distracted, no problem. Here's all you have to do. Let go. Let go of that thought or those thoughts completely. If it helps, you can say to yourself silently, thinking, and gently bring your attention back to your breath. And know that you can always take a fresh start in this way. And this is mindfulness of mind. So we have mindfulness of body, breath, and mind. These are our practice. And we'll practice together. Thank you very much for your practice.